So this question is very long, a very long question, right? So a lot of students get intimidated immediately when they see questions like this. I use a strategy called translate word problem. That strategy just helps me to not be so intimidated because I just read, I really just take one sentence at a time from this question and make sure I understand that sentence, write down any quantitative information from that sentence before moving on. That allows me to not have to go back and reread this whole thing. So the first sentence here says, bridges have spaces between their sections to allow for expansion and contraction caused by temperature variation. Okay, I think I understand that. Spaces between sections allow for expansion and contraction. The next sentence says, this space is known as the gap width. Okay, I didn't know that, but now I do. The next sentence says, the size of the gap width, WT, W of T, in inches is a linear function of temperature, T, in degrees Fahrenheit, F. Okay, thanks for letting me know. The next sentence, for a certain bridge, the gap width is 2.875 inches at 40 degrees. Okay, so let's, let's write some things down. Now we're getting some quantitative information. I was told that the size of the gap width is this whole W of T thing. And then I'm told that the gap width is 2.875. So that's telling me that W of T is equal to 2.875. But it says it's 2.875 at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, T is in degrees Fahrenheit, which means this really should have said W of 40 equals 2.875. Then we go on to say and is 1.875 inches at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, well, that means that one or W of 100 is equal to 1.875. All right, so the last sentence here says, which of the following defines the relationship between temperature and gap width? Okay, so I have this information. I know W of 40, I know W of 100. So I'm gonna use that, right? So I, I know that when, you know, when T is 40, for instance, let me just start off with this first equation. I'm gonna start using, I'm gonna actually use plug in information from the question as my strategy here on top of TWP. So TWP allowed me to write this stuff inside the box. Plug in information from question is an additional strategy which says I can plug this stuff in, right? So this is telling me that when T is 40, so let me go to answer choice A. When T is 40, so I replace this T with 40. The answer I expect to get is 2.875. Well, let's see if that's true. 40 minus 40, well, that's zero. Negative 160 times zero, that's still just zero. And zero plus 2.875 is exactly what I expected to get, positive 2.875. So I like answer choice A, but I'm gonna try the others as well. Um, for choice B, if I replace T with 40, this becomes 80, and I'm, you know, I'm multiplying that by negative one over 60, and then subtracting 2.875, it's just highly unlikely that that's gonna equal 2.875. I think it's highly unlikely at least. You could do the math if you want it to, um, but first of all, this is a positive 80 times a negative once over 60, so that's gonna be negative, minus 2.875, which means it's gonna be still negative. I want a positive 2.875 as an answer, so there's another reason why B is incorrect. Choice C, I replace T with 40. This whole thing becomes zero. That makes this whole thing become zero. So, okay, so choice C also would give me a positive 2.875 when T is 40. And then choice D, I think, has the same issues as choice B. I end up with an 80 inside there. 60 times 80 is, what, 4,800. Um, and then, yeah, that's not going to give me 2.875, so that's gone. All right, so just understanding this first equation helped me to narrow down my answers to two options, either A or C. So let me erase all that I wrote, that I overwrote this with. So get that out of the way. And now I'm probably just gonna use the second equation to check, well, out of these two, which one gives me 1.875. So when T is 100, what happens? If T is 100, 100 minus 40 is 60. Negative one over 60 times 60, the 60s will cross cancel and I'd be left with a negative one. Negative one plus 2.875 is in fact a positive 1.875. So that works. That kind of tells me choice A has to be the right answer because I don't know what else to plug in. But let's try choice C. When T is 40, 
this becomes, I'm sorry, when t is 100, just like before, this becomes 60. But now we have 60 times 60, which is 3,600. And I have 3,600 plus 2.875. That is not equal to 1.875. So choice C is gone. So our correct answer here is choice A. Practically, I use two strategies, translate word problem and plug in information from question.